Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Peatlands store a third of the world's soil carbon, and their harvesting and use releases carbon dioxide, the major greenhouse gas driving climate change. The biggest environmental risk from peatlands is if they catch fire, which happened spectacularly in 2015 in Indonesia on land cleared for plantations. Make your mark, take our lead. Using peat in gardens releases a million tons of CO2 every year. It would also help end the destruction of our precious peat bogs and the loss of birds, plants and insects that rely on them. Peat compost. The alternatives. Asterisk peat is not necessary to grow most plants. Let's help you make your mark. The carbon in peat, when spread on a field or garden, quickly turns into carbon dioxide, adding to greenhouse gas levels. 3. The unique biodiversity of peat bogs is lost. Rare birds, butterflies, dragonflies and plants disappear. Let's help you make your mark. The peat that is used to produce the garden compost is mainly derived from peat bogs. The intensive mining of peat has adverse effects on the climate, and destroys valuable ecosystems. Many rare and endangered species live in and around peat bogs and these are having their way of life threatened. Make your mark, take our lead. Fungal disease. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that people who have contact with peat moss containing the fungus Sporothrix shanki have the potential of contracting sporotrichosis. The fungal spores from the moss enter the bloodstream through a cut or open wood and infect the person. Let's help you make your mark. Many disadvantages have been unearthed regarding this soil additive for both the home and surrounding environment. Nutrient poor. Unlike compost, peat moss does not contain the rich nutrients needed to help a garden flourish. Additional soil additives. Plant diseases. Environmental implications. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.